Hello everybody, I just got done filming the most degenerate playlist, uh, most degenerate tier list on YouTube, on the channel, um, and now I'm about to do the second most degenerate one, that's right, the Husbando tier list, yay! Um, so I moved all the ladies down to the ladies category, unfortunately I couldn't move the guys out because they were in here before, um, in the gentleman category, because that's what it was, I had to move them down so I could kind of reset them, but I can't them down to the bottom so we're just gonna take them out of the ladies category um i was gonna, I was gonna make a joke okay i promise this is a joke guys i was gonna say the first thing that came to my head is you've been promoted you're a man now okay um yeah that's gonna get me canceled someday okay um so first off japard i think japard most golden retriever character in the game you can't, you cannot tell me otherwise. Most golden retriever looking character in the game. I think he looks, wait, what am I doing? I'm supposed to be looking at the, uh, I'll be looking at this too. Um, he's bringing him up. I don't know him, so he's down here. Oh, uh, sorry about that guys. Depard, he, what he is wearing is super badass. Super badass. I think in terms of like what he's wearing, he's probably one of the most badass, uh, characters straight up in the entire game it just looks so cool this massive chest piece um you can you can tell this guy's a badass right the fucking armored arm and stuff like that it, it looks really cool i think i'm actually going to put him on s tier just because of that um i always do that i'm pretty sure uh next up is going to be sampo sampo uh sampo what he's wearing is just so I don't care, you know. Um, his hair is is cool. His hair is cool. I like the gray. Um, I've always been a fan of that. I like the gray at the end, the gray tips. But other than that, um, he's a good looking dude. I got the thing on his ear, I guess. Um, he just annoys the hell out of me with the way that he talks in the game and stuff like that. Um, I think he's just going to be A. He's going to be A. Or whatever. Um, male MC. Unfortunately, I can't bring up the model for male MC because I chose M MC. At least I'm pretty sure. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't. Oh, that's pretty cool. What was that? Pretty cool. I've never seen that before. Um, I can't bring up the male MC, but let's just be honest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him where I put the them MC, and I think that's B tier. Did I put her B tier? Um, it's just the same thing, except it's a shorter haircut and it's a dude, right? Um, Argenti. No, let's not do Argenti. Let's do. Let's let's keep on track. Um, with left to right. Uh, Jing Yuan, one of the most badass looking characters in the game for sure. Um, I love the lion on the side. Uh, is that a lion? I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's a lion. But the scroll that he has, he is the general. He is our general. He is my general. He's the first character I ever pulled on. He has a special place in my heart. I think that he, his hair, the, the, the long messy hair, so fucking good. Dude, this guy's a Chad. This guy's a fucking Chad. This guy's an S plus tier Chad. Okay. Let's go to Don Hong. Bit of an emo boy. Bit of an emo boy. Um, for sure. Uh, what he's wearing, kind of basic. Let's be real, but you know, he has an upgraded version of him that we're going to get to here soon. Um, yeah, I think my opinion on him over the time has kind of went down a little bit because other characters, uh, for other characters, has improved. Um, yeah, Arlen. Let me just real quick. I, mean, I don't need to look at him, but you guys can if you want to. I can bring him up here. Arlen, I just have no cares to give at all about. I don't think he looks cool. I think what he's wearing is kind of lame. Um, honestly, the little ponytail at the bottom kind of pisses me off. Same as like Bronya's hair or uh, Silver Wolf. With the like the longest curling iron ever, and it's just like it's just weird. The fact that like he covers the one eye, 
I just don't think he's an epic or cool or neat or fun or I'm sorry guys. If you like Arlen, you hate me right now. But let's be real. Welt. Daddy. I don't know what it is. I've talked highly about Welt for the longest time, and that ain't stopping. I think his like suit pants that he's wearing, just with like the the overcoat. Um, he just looks so badass. He just looks so official. His hair is pretty basic, but like he's got the glasses. He got the stern look, and he is a very integral part of the story. I think his glove looks cool. I, th I think everything about this character just looks so well put together. Kind of like dress shoes in a way. Um, he is the most dapper gentleman in the game, and he deserves his place in the S tier. S plus tier. Luca. Luca. I don't care about this guy. I don't care about this guy, but I do think that he looks pretty good. I think he looks pretty good. Got the muscles. You know, you can tell he's got a very defined collarbone. Um, he's a fighter. Uh, he's he's in the Boulder Town Super League. Uh, I like the ponytail on, on him. I think it looks good. The flame on the bandage on the arm is pretty cool. Um, I wish his arm was maybe a little more buff. Like, they could have made this guy a little more manly. You know what I'm saying? Like, burn. You know what I'm saying? They could have definitely done it because his whole thing is supposed to be a fighter. And why do his arms look flimsy-ish? Like, his arms just look very basic. Very basic. You can kind of see, like, a pec muscle here. So I think they did good with that. But his arms look just like... They just look almost like 10% smaller than they should. Right? Like, right? Like, at least add a little bit more girth onto his arm. Right? Make him, make him a little more built. Like, give him a thicker neck, too. Like, you kind of, like, give him this big frame-ish with, like, the, the very, very defined uh, collarbones and everything like that. And you give him like nice pectoral muscles that you can kind of see on the side through the sleeves. And then like his neck doesn't have like he doesn't have like bigger neck muscles. Um I think he should have a more square jawline. I think he should have bigger muscle on his arm too. And then the robot arm is really cool as well. We spent a lot of time talking about Luca, but I think Luca is his potential is way higher than where they put him. But or than where they made him. And I think where they made him is probably above Sampo and A. It's unfortunate. Unfortunate. Blade? I mean, come on. Who's going to say Blade isn't daddy? Blade is so badass. He, like, what he's wearing is so fucking cool. He's got the bandages on it. He's got bandages, like, everywhere. It's funny because his whole thing is, like, he hurts himself. Um, I guess that's not funny, but, um, it went in a real life context, but you know, how be, um, he's got the band, you can see the bandage across his chest through like the opening on his jacket, but his jacket is so badass as well. Um, you got this kind of like Jade look, Jade dragon, Jade dog look on his belt there too. Um, he just looks cool. Looks cool. You got the one earring kind of badass look going on. Well, the one down earring badass look going on. He's got like the red eyes. Um, his hair is such a badass color. I just like Blade. I think a lot of people would agree. Blade is an S plus tier husbando. Okay, he he is. He is. I I I honestly don't know if he's above Jing Yuan. I think Jing Yuan's hair is just probably the best dude hair or best hair of all the dudes because i think it's so epic it's so big it's so badass it's so epic i don't know but blade is so daddy you know what i mean getting fruity over here just thinking about it Let's go to Don Hong and Vividor Lune. A new character on my account. All right, let's roast the shit out of him now. Um, I like his ears are really pointy. I know they're supposed to be. 
just for some reason it's not a vibe for me. I, I don't know why. I don't know why. I just don't like it that much. I don't like his ears. Right. The horns, obviously, very super cool. The thing that he got in the middle here, like his kind of like belt, I guess, or like his the thing that he's got on the middle of him is super cool. Like the it looks like a dragon wrapping around. Um he controls the dragon. He's got the uh, the beads. Those look really cool. Um, I think everything about this character, almost everything about this character looks super badass. I love the flowers on the side of the things. Uh, very uh, wafu of him. Uh, his hair looks really cool. I like how some of the strands come down. They change color early when at like you know the max length of this hair, it kind of changes color. Um, obviously a bit unrealistic, but I like how some of the hair also comes down here and then also he's got uh like a red streak in his hair i think everything just brings this character together he looks really cool um but i don't think that he is on the level i i don't i don't know i think the ears honestly to a point like not to a, a bronia extent but i think the ears just i know it's how they made him to me it just looks dumb Like, can I say that? Can I say that it just looks fucking... Can I say that I just think that it looks dumb? Is that allowed? Because I do. Let's go to Dr. Ratio. The guy with more defined muscles than... I mean, just look at that. Like, you can actually see the lining of his muscle. More defined muscles. And just, like, seeming like... Man, you can just see it. You can just see the, the cut of his muscles more than the guy who's supposed to be a fighter. A, 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 fifth, a fifth fighter, guys? What are we saying? It's okay. It's fine. That's a hit on Luca's design. I think it makes Dr. Ratio look badass. Of course. I think Dr. Ratio's whole thing with the books, everything is just so cool. I love his voice. I love the thing in his hair there, the gold thing in his hair. He just looks so epic, so regal, so cool. I don't know. The fact that they gave us this character for free and the fact that this guy is literally wearing sandals. He's wearing sandals. He's ready to go to the beach. He's ready to, to husband. He's, he's ready to husbando you up and go to the beach anytime. He looks so official. He looks badass. I think he has a similar vibe to me uh, as Welt to me. Um, I don't know if he's above Welt. I think he is. I think Welt. I think Walt's hair just looks so basic, and that's okay. That's okay. He doesn't have a big color scheme at all. That's okay. But I think he he is getting um, outscaled by some other cooler looking dudes, right? And that's okay. Let's go to Luocha. Luocha has the long blonde hair. I actually like it. Um, it's really fucking long. Really fucking long hair. Um, past his booty cheeks and everything, um, past like the tip of his fingers, like just stand up real quick and put your, your arms beside you, you know, just down beside you. His, his hair is longer than where the tips of your fingers are in proportion to his body. I think that's crazy. I don't think that's bad, obviously. I mean, Bill, I think that's a little, I mean, that's, a, you know, it's a, it's a hairstyle. It's fine. Um, I was going to say a little excessive, right? It's just my opinion, but I don't think he looks bad. I don't think he looks bad, guys. I think Luocha looks really, really cool. I think prettiest guy, for sure. Prettiest dude in the game, for sure. I don't know how, you know, he would take that if he was right here. Maybe he'd put me in his coffin. Um, That's definitely possible. But I like the the, the blue tassels. Honestly, like, turquoise look with the white is so regal it's so nice the dress pants with the the tall boots is weird with the dress pants but that's fine um you can kind of see like a tux thing like under like under the suit jacket it, it, almost in a way it's kind of what like these two things give the vibe of he looks really cool i like him and then the butt the button up all the way to the neck it just makes him, you know, look more tidy and everything like that. 
Um, I think that's cool. I think he's above Don Hong IL. Um, let's go to Argenti. I actually have a really, really high opinion of Argenti. At first, when he came out, I was like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I wish, in a way, I wish more of him was covered in armor, but also, like, maybe just more of his chest, but, like, also to a point, I think he has a pretty realistic, I don't know if realistic is the word, but, you know, I think it just looks so cool. I love the rose on his metal chain belt there. Um, I love his color scheme, the deep, bright, but also dark, bright, but dark, red. It just looks so good. The red, white, and gold makes him look so awesome. He looks like a knight. He's definitely the most armored character in the entire game by far. Not even close. And he is a knight, so, you know, that's intentional. Um, he looks elegant. He looks beautiful. The prettiest guy in the game. Maybe, the, maybe this guy's the prettiest guy in the game. I think that's, I mean, that's what they're going for, probably. But, like, also the rose on the shoulder plate. I think that this guy definitely reaches. Definitely. Definitely reaches S plus tier. And I think actually above wealth and just cool lookingness. Cool lookingness. Now here's the thing, right? Why don't I sexualize the dude as the dudes as much? Because unfortunately, the dudes aren't walking around with a massive bulgy walgy. You know what I'm saying? Like, can we come on man? Where's our bulge? Come on! Come on, guys! I need more bulge! That's for you clippers out there if anyone wants to do that. Um, yeah. Um, this is the list. This is the list. Not a lot of dudes! Not a lot of dudes. I definitely have lost my voice after doing these two, by the way. Doing these two tier lists. But if you stuck around, this is my official uh, closing. For the Husbando tier list, this is where the dudes are, I believe. I think Dr. Ratio just looks so cool. I think Dr. Ratio might be... I think Dr. Ratio, like, if this is... If we're going to hold this tier list to the same standards as the... The... The waifu tier list. I think that Dr. Ratio... Is the most physically attractive to me. I'm not joking. In the game. I think this is actually, I think this fixes it. Putting Dr. Ratio first, and then Blade second with the daddy energy. Yeah, for sure. Gallagher and Adventuring are going to be great additions to the Husbando tier list, for sure. Because um, we're going to have to have a talk about those two characters. Very, very different in theme. Um, but yeah. Yeah, actually, I'm very satisfied with that. I think Dr. Ratio actually belongs there. I don't know why. I just love almost everything about this character's design. It's not super over the top. Um, his arms actually look like they have some some muscle, some definition in them, some cut. His hair looks fucking awesome. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, let's not rehash the whole discussion, but that's how it is. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like it. Uh, if you dislike it, that sucks for me, I guess. Just like it. Um, subscribe. Comment below who your top three dudes in the game are. I um, forgot to say that for the, for the waifu tier list, but I'm sure I'll, I'll get told in the comments if, if, that, if those videos pop off. So, yep. Peace. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe, for sure. Please subscribe.